What's up, guys? Welcome to the Don't Forget to Love podcast with me, Mara Sullivan. Today's episode is about dealing with and managing stress, fatigue, being overwhelmed, tired, keeping yourself calm and at peace when life gets chaotic and hectic and feels out of control. March is normally a quiet month for me. There are no major holidays, no birthdays. It's normally pretty chill, but this year, March has been so hectic and so busy. It's like things are happening and coming at me back to back. Work's been super time consuming, long days longer hours than normal just more to do i work in customer service and child care full-time which i really love and so i'm not complaining at all i'm grateful to be employed and be able to work more but you know how some weeks are just crazier than normal and sometimes you're going like days at a time with like no sleep because there's so much to do and life's still happening sometimes it's just a lot going on and march has been like that for me and it's been the same uh, for my friends right now and so i know it's not just me And it's nothing bad, it's just super busy. I just found out I'm a maid of honor in a wedding, which is so wild. My friends are starting to get married. I've never been in a wedding, much less been a maid of honor. And so I'm super excited and also a little nervous because it's a lot of responsibility and pressure. But I'm so happy and humbled and I can't believe this is happening and I'm really excited. And if you're in your 20s like me, you're still kind of getting adjusted to being an adult, figuring things out and having your career career and life take off everything's changing whether you're working in school or both or in a relationship single dating trying to still spend time with friends and family trying to still have fun and enjoy being young and we have social media and a slight recession on top of all of the normal 20s stuff it can get stressful like I said sometimes there's just weeks and months where things are crazier than others when we have to run on autopilot and it feels like we're running on e your health and rest can get put on the back burner a little bit and that's what we're going to talk about in this episode the first thing to remember is that stress is a part of life no one no matter their income status race gender is immune to stress and not all stress is bad stress can be coming from a job you enjoy or a school you're excited to be getting your degree from or family or friends you love a project you're doing and are excited about good things can be stressful we can be grateful for everything but still be anxious or annoyed or stressed out by whatever it is gratitude list and positive affirmation and having faith in God is all great and it's important but sometimes it can still be hard to go through a situation and deal with things like worry grief pain burdens fears burnout all the different emotions that we experience as we go through life and sometimes we need more than the gratitude list devotionals and affirmations to help get us through some symptoms of stress can be a bunch of different things stress can cause worry frustration fear anger sadness low energy lack of interest in things poor sleep bad decision making health problems eating too much eating too little we all have different responses to stress and it can vary depending on the situation when life gets busy see if there's anything you can do Um, see if any see if there's anything that you can take off your plate or reschedule or say no to if you can Um, if there's something you really want to or need to show up for leave early when you can Um, I think it's the Scorpio in me but I'm never the last person at the party at the dinner or at the event I'm not the first person to leave but I'm right behind the first person who leaves (laughs) like or if my friends are like should we stay it's getting late or I'm getting tired I'm the one who's like let's go um I'm not the friend who's gonna like talk you into staying out late at all or if I'm by myself and I know I've like made my appearance I've done my job set my hellos he he ha ha and I'm out, I'm out like so think about is there anything you can say no to or reschedule this can be something easy to risk reschedule like hitting the bars for drinks or going out to eat or shopping can you order what you need instead of going to the store that's what I do and it saves me a lot of time also remember that scrolling on your phone and watching tv takes up time if you're tired um if you're tired but if you're staying up late on your phone or watching tv or doing like distracting things instead of going to sleep be mindful of that time and that's different from using your phone and tv to like decompress and get your mind off of your day just try to make sure it's not interfering with the rest um, of your life or 
not interfering with your rest or distracting you from doing things that you know you need to do. Also, ask for extensions on work or school projects when you need to. If you're feeling super overwhelmed or falling behind, I think some people forget that you can ask for more time to get things done. I know you might be afraid of feeling like a failure or beating yourself up for not being able to finish on time, but give yourself grace. You're human and you're doing the best you can. Good teachers, good bosses, good supervisors appreciate honesty and it's better to let them know what's going on ahead of time rather than expecting you to do something thing and it's not done the day of and then it makes you look even worse also remember to plan and prepare as much as possible being organized helps lower stress a lot because your life is more in order avoid decision fatigue which is when you waste time thinking about something um, when it's time to do it like trying to decide what to wear wear right when you're getting ready instead of having your clothes already laid out or deciding what to eat when you're already hungry instead of having something already planned or prepared save your energy for the big things when you have to be on and have to be alert the things that you can do automatically and not autopilot you shouldn't have to worry about or spend much energy on simple things that save you time like meal prepping having a full water bottle already in your bag or in your car having healthy snacks in your bag or already packaged and ready to go laying out your clothes the night before having a routine not wasting time being and being efficient with your time if you're doing something that takes you an hour but could be done in 30 minutes try to get it done in a shorter time frame like an errand or a call an appointment assignment is there a faster way to get done what you're doing like i said ordering what you need instead of going to the store if that will save you time focus on completing the task you have to do and give yourself a deadline when you can commit to working on or taking care of whatever it is for a certain amount of time every day and then give yourself a cutoff time and do something else even if you have to be busy from sun up to sun down try to find Find a few minutes every day for you to do something that you enjoy. If not every day, then at least every week, schedule time to read or play a sport, work out, go to church, cook, bake, write, uh, travel, do a hobby, shop, window shop, go out by yourself or with some friends, see a movie, explore a passion, or just sleep or lay down and do absolutely nothing. Whatever makes you happy, whatever you feel like you need to do, schedule time at least once a week to do it. And when you have free time, do something for you write down exactly what it is that's stressing you out and what you can do about it. When I was in school, I used to procrastinate and stress myself about um, doing the work instead of just doing it, like just start. And once you get started, you'll get in the flow and um, get it over with. Just take one step that will help you with whatever it is and break whatever task you're trying to complete. It helps to break it down into smaller pieces so you won't be as overwhelmed with one huge task. Also, remember that like when you're trying to make it, when you're trying to be an adult, get your life together, it's easy to fall into a hustle mentality, hustle culture. Um, and just think things like I'll sleep when I'm dead kind of mindset. But when we run run ourselves nonstop, it can end up doing more harm than good for our lives. It's easier to take breaks and slow down while you're grinding rather than burn out and have to stop working completely for a longer period of time. Think of taking breaks like taking care of yourself. It's easier to be preventative by eating healthy and exercising now than it is to get sick with an illness. You might have been able to prevent by living a healthier lifestyle. Living a preventative lifestyle is really healthy and can help you be prepared and ready for things that come, like having a rainy day fund for things that we or things that we put in place for just Um, For those just in case times or for the things that we know will happen later, prevent burnout and lower stress by giving yourself time to take breaks and slow down by saying no when you need to and rescheduling, delegating tasks when you can, asking for help when you need to, not wasting time by doing things like spending too much time on your phone or on things and people that drain your energy. A lot of times 
we just don't feel like we can say no or sometimes we don't realize that we have the option and it's our responsibility to be in control of our time. Of course, there are times when things happen that are out of your control, but remember that how you respond to everything is in your control. Also, remember that people are not mind readers. If you need help or um, you need to say no or you need less on your plate, you have to communicate that. Your boss can't read your mind. Your teachers can't read your mind. Your partner, your friends, family, spouse, no one can read your mind. Even the people who you who know you really well cannot read your mind. So you have to voice what you need and don't let pride or feeling like a burden stop you from doing what's best for you and putting yourself first when you need to. Find ways to relax and calm down that work for you, but try not to do unhealthy things that will make you feel better or comforting like in the moment. Some people drink more when they're stressed or overwhelmed. It might make you feel relaxed in the moment, but it's not actually helping. The same thing with eating junk food or fast food, having more sugar. When you need that like immediate sense of comfort, you don't have to stop yourself from having that stuff, but have it in like a smaller portion, not the whole bag or the whole pack or the whole bottle or like a large fast food meal or more than one glass of wine or whatever it is. You can also get healthier alternatives for the unhealthy food you like, like I like salty, like crunchy snacks, so I typically go for popcorn. I love Triscuits and cheese. I love nuts, almonds, cashews, peanuts. I also really like sea salt kettle chips. I don't have much of a sweet tooth. I know like some people like a lot of sugar, especially when they get stressed. I don't have like a sweet tooth at all, but I do like... um, Uh, I think it's called the Tate's. Yeah, the Tate's brand. They have chocolate chip cookies and they're gluten free and they're really good. I also really like um, Annie's organic chocolate uh, chip cookie mix. That's also really good. I can bake those on my own. Just like snacks and uh, sweets with healthy, healthier, better quality ingredients. When you are feeling stressed and do want more comfort food, comfort snacks, just think of the things that have better quality. Also for me, I like real, like good quality dark chocolate for any unhealthy thing there are so many healthier alternatives that you can go for um instead of alcohol i like recess it's the non-alcoholic sparkling water that helps you to calm down and there's good stuff in it like lemon balm ginseng magnesium electrolytes it just helps you feel better without the side effects of alcohol I also love hum sparkling kombucha. Both of those come in a can and I like the taste of both and they're good for you. They're good like alcohol replacements when you want to de-stress and reach for wine or whatever drink you like. Um, But they're healthier and so you don't have to worry about the like side effects of um, whatever unhealthy things are in wine or getting a hangover from whatever drink you like. There are so many healthier alternatives to every unhealthy thing. Um, Also listening to something that you enjoy while you do tasks like drive, clean, cook, um, listen to music. You can listen to worship music or a sermon, a podcast. Some of you guys told me that you listen to this podcast on your drives and that makes me feel so happy. Your mood definitely affects your stress levels and taking those little moments, like I said, when you're driving or cooking or cleaning I'm taking those little moments uh, definitely can put you in a more relaxed state, even if it's just a few minutes. And uh, remember that the content we consume affects our mood and can stress us out. Even if it's unconscious, you might not notice it, but it can have an effect on you. Make sure you have some uplifting positive content inspiring faith mixed in with the news or reality tv or music whatever low vibrational content you might be watching or listening to even if it's entertaining there's nothing wrong with consuming low vibrational stuff y'all know i love housewives i love listening to in my feelings music (laughs) like knowing i love knowing what's going on in the world watching the news just be mindful to take in more beneficial content too that's gonna like i said inspire you lift you up um encourage you and your spirit some faith content is really good 
Reading is also a great stress reliever. I prefer fiction books for relaxing. I love a good romance novel with a little bit of drama. Right now I'm reading Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. It's the sequel to Things We Never Got Over, which was really, really good. I love romance novels that aren't super mushy and have some suspense and some drama. I just finished Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo last week and it was worth all all the hype it's been getting it's not romance it's more like life story with a good love story in it but you get really invested in the characters and their lives and it's a great book it's really really good sometimes non-fiction like self-help personal development productivity books can make you feel a little overwhelmed and more stressed out by making you feel like you need to be um, doing even more things to be productive and I love those books like Atomic Habits, 5am Club, Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad Poor Dad, all those helpful um, books, all those are really helpful books but sometimes you need to just clear your head and not think about your life and all the things you need to do and just relax and fiction books um, give you like your mind a break and like lets you focus on a different world and other people's lives and just things that are different from your own life same with like a fun tv show or a movie let yourself have fun and take a break and detach from whatever is stressing you out magazines are also really great i used to love um oprah's magazine i'm getting back into vogue and the mag magazines that i really enjoy just like it's important to have in-person connections that aren't through technology it's also important to have entertainment and hobbies and things you enjoy doing that don't involve a screen like physical books physical magazines obviously reading online saves paper and reduces clutter and so you don't have to um, get physical copies all the time for me I use both I read on my uh, mini iPad on the Kindle app and then I also get physical books as well I use both also writing in a physical journal is my favorite way to relax and de-stress typing is nice but there's nothing like pen to paper also gardening cooking baking exercise think of things that you can do for fun um, that get you off of your phone, off your computer, it's just so that your brain can relax and have a break from whatever is stressing you out. I um, There's definitely a lot of science and a lot of research that the blue light that comes from all of our screens definitely affects our cortisol. It, it affects our like stress hormones. And um, I think that it's doing things that we don't even realize yet because technology and the way that we use it is still very new. Um, but we don't know all of the side effects, but we do know that it can affect our brains and the way that we think and our stress levels. So definitely be mindful of, you know, how often you're staring at a screen and scrolling and doing things like that. Um, so just remember to take a break from whatever's stressing you out, even if it's not just one thing in particular that you're dealing with, maybe your job or school or whatever it is, is just high or fast paced and maybe it's always busy give yourself a break during the day or during the week plan something for you even if it's just doing something that you enjoy on a particular day at a certain time like I said before exercise is also a top stress reliever when you're in a good workout you can zone out you cannot be distracted um, by anyone or anything else for a while and just focus on you and your body taking a walk while listening to something you enjoy or um, to talking to someone you enjoy talking to while you're on a walk is also really great. Jump rope is a great easy workout for people who don't like working out. I know it sounds childish, but it is a really, really, really good workout for your body and for your heart rate. Um, journaling, like I said, is the best way for me to relieve stress and work through and process any situation. You have to get whatever is going on out of your head and writing it down is a great way to do it. You don't have to 
to vent or talk to other people if you don't want to talk about it. But keeping it bottled up and then exploding later will make everything worse. And so you have to have healthy outlets for stress because it is a part of life. Also, remember that sometimes you have to shift your perspective of a situation. Nothing is good or bad. It's how you see it. It helps to be able to see something in a different way. Think about one thing, one good thing about whatever it is that's stressing you out. Um, how dealing with it will help, what it's teaching you, and how you'll be better from it. We all know the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And the other quote that says, pressure makes diamonds. God gives us, God gives his greatest battles to his strongest soldiers. God doesn't give us more than we can handle. We all love those sayings and phrases, and they are true. Even though they can sound cheesy or preachy, they really, really are true. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Pressure really does make diamonds god does give his greatest battles to his strongest soldiers and he never ever gives us more than we can handle it also helps to make a list of your priorities and focus on what's most important first remind yourself that you will always be okay no matter what happens take things one day at a time focus on one thing at a time sometimes we overwhelm us overwhelm ourselves by just doing too much and taking on too much at one time or just overworking or giving too much time and attention to one thing instead of having some breathing room stepping back for a minute and just leaving it alone for a while if you're working long hours nonstop, if everyone's asking you um, for your time and for everything all at the same time, everything's coming at you all at once. Remember to pause and take a day off if you can or leave early if it's possible, especially if you're feeling like you can't catch a break or you're running on E, slow down, say no to something or reschedule, clear your mind, take a nap, nourish your body tea is so calming y'all know i love coffee coffee but when i'm really tired it does not help like when i want when i need sleep i need to go to sleep like i'm not someone who can drink coffee and get more energy like if i'm really tired it's not gonna help at all and i'm not someone who can function on little to no sleep so just remember to prioritize rest if you've been sleeping like kind of but not getting like actual good quality rest um, just make sure it'll if you're not prioritizing your rest, it'll just make you more stressed out. And I know it's hard. We can do our best to plan and prioritize sleep. But sometimes things just come up, life happens, and you just can't get the rest that you need. Sometimes you have to have late nights, early mornings, just to like try, just try not to have that pattern all the time. I heard Jay Shetty say, feel emotions for less time and give them less energy feel your emotions but for less time when you're in a negative has headspace do your best to not stay there for a long time do something to get yourself to change your mood even if it's just for a little while don't get stuck in your feelings for too long create a playlist of your favorite songs and listen to it while you're in the shower or while you're getting ready or winding down for the night if you're like me what you listen to depends on your mood i listen to a lot i listen to everything from my country to pop R&B, old school music, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, um, Ella Fitzgerald, Elvis, Dean Martin, Sinatra, like old school classic music is so calming to me and puts me and always puts me like in a really good mood and just in a very relaxed state. So throw on a playlist that you love. If you're working hard and doing a lot, remember that you're most likely working towards a time when you don't have to work as hard. Sometimes you have to bite the bullet, put in more work now so that you'll have more freedom later. Y'all know I love Oprah Winfrey's quote, do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do there are times when we just have to grind you have to put your head down we have to pay our dues and um, put in the work towards the life that we want and remember to work smarter not harder when you can schedule some days or a day out of the month where you have absolutely nothing to do and don't wait until you take a vacation to relax and do nothing like find those little moments throughout your day throughout 
throughout your week where you can just do nothing, take like a mini vacation, even if it's just for a few minutes or for an hour or however much time you have. Do not wait until you take a full on vacation and go somewhere to relax and do nothing. Also, it really helps to do things that make you feel present, focus on right now, breathe, pray, let it go. Holding on to tension can make yourself sick. Worrying and overthinking can also make you sick. At some point, you have to let it go and say, like, it is what it is. It's going to turn out however it's supposed to turn out. At the end of the day, I'm not going to kill myself, like, trying to control the outcome. I'm giving it to God and just going about my day. The best you can do is all you can do. So just remember that and also remember to talk with other people. We all need like a good venting session every once in a while. Even if you don't want to talk about what's going on, hanging out with other people can help. Like just being around them just by taking your mind off of whatever you're dealing with. In-person interaction is so necessary, especially after going through over a year of, of isolation Also, people are working from home more and going to school online more. Technology can sometimes stop us from seeing people in person, but humans are made to connect with other people in real life. I love my alone time. I can spend days at a time by myself. During the the pandemic, I was so comfortable, like, in my own little world. Like, there would be days where I would forget that we were in a pandemic and, like, on lockdown. Like, I'm an only child, and so I think it's just, like, doing things on my own has never really bothered me, but I also love spending time with people in person who make me feel good and are just fun to be around, and I can feel a difference in myself when I do, and so just remember to take all of these things into account, slow down when you need to, take a break when you need to, take off when you can. I know it's not always possible. Like I said, sometimes we just have to grind, do what we have to do until we can do what we want to do. Remember that everything will not always be this stressful and be this chaotic forever. You will get those breaks. Give those breaks to yourself. You deserve them. If you're working hard and doing the best you can, remember that the best you can is all you can do. So that's it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you share and review this podcast. Make sure that you have it saved to your library so that you don't miss any episodes from me. DM me anytime with questions or topics you want me to cover. My Instagram is at Mara P. Sullivan and at DFTL Podcast. Remember that no matter how stressed or tired you might be right now, you will get through it. And while you're going through it, do not forget to love. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.